Greetings folks, it's maiden time for the Reptile Dragon V2 with the conventional cross tail. Uh, I have done a quick trim out flight um, just to get it trimmed so we can fly it nicely and without all the mucking around to start off with. Um, it's ready to go, flying weight now is 1360 grams. I have a 3300 4S Nanotech LiPo plus an extra 80 grams of lead in the nose to get the balance on the nipples. No camera in the nose at all. It's a sort of a, a wet, dewy morning, so the, the camera would just get coated with water. So I'll put the camera up on the nose a bit later on. Stock props. No flight control board, just maidening the plane. Let's go. I have a current sensor on here too, so we can check out the current. Remembering to keep my fingers away from the props and uh, hit the kill switch when I land. Ridiculously easy takeoff. It's going to be hard to see it, isn't it? So it's looking pretty efficient and smooth. Very smooth. I have high throws on the ailerons. Uh, I could back that off more or give it more expo. I do have 30% expo, but it is a little bit too reactive on the ailerons, I think. Elevator seems really nice. Haven't touched the rudder yet. Uh, just flying bank and yank. It's very nice. There's very little wind around, which is good. It's going to get windy later on, so that's why I've come out early. Quiet and fast. Can't see it out there, can you? But I need to fly it out there to get a feel for it. Come in close. It's yeah, there's it's it doesn't have any self stability. I think you have to fly it, have to keep on the ailerons to keep it level, but it is it feels quite nice and locked in. Mmm, it's looking good. There's a rudder turn, very nice with only 40% and very reduced rudder. It throws probably only 10 millimeters either side. Look at that, that is nice. That's sort of slow speed going at under 4 amps. 2.4 amps. That is really, really slow. 2.4 amps. Need more for the turn, so... 5.8 amps. Flies easily on 5.86 amps. 4.8 amps. Flies just on 5 amps. 5.6 amps. But you five. want... I think you'd want to cruise around on 6 amps Five at minimum weight. Amps. Six point one amps. Six point three amps. Seven point two amps. Six point nine amps. Let's go a bit faster. Nine. 9.9 amps. That's flying on 10 amps. Pretty fast. 26 amps. That's not even full bore yet. That is hooking. Nice big controlled loop. Yeah, very nice. Axial roll as you usually get with these uh, twin motor setups. 4 .4 amps. Back to cruisy flying. Yeah, it's very nice indeed. Well, it does remind me of the Alba Bird in that it has plenty of power and plenty of agility. Um, I think I could, amps. for smoother flying, I could sort of reduce the aileron throws. I'll show you the amount of throws I've got when I bring it into land. Oh, very nice indeed. Amps. Nippy and agile, I would describe this. Amps. Not a super efficient bird, Six, but uh, it would get you places fast. Six. Hardly need the rudder, but that is a, a sort of a nice controlled rudder turn. All right, let's bring it in and have a think about it. It's gliding in. Oh, look at that, nice. 
Oh, beautiful. I really like it. Throttle cut. Okay, so that is right on the nipples. That just seems right to me. I'm not having to use any up elevator at all. Show you the throws. So it's a fair bit of throws on the ailerons. I do have differential uh, in the ailerons, but I could reduce the amount of weight for the ailerons, I think. That seemed a little bit twitchy. I have got this one trimmed down a little bit for some reason by about uh, three millimeters. Um, so it was rolling to the right a fair bit. Elevator throws seem pretty good. Up 15, down 10 maybe, 15 up and down. Rudder throws, just maybe, no, oh, probably no more than 10 millimeters either side. Elevator, uh, ailerons would be 20 up, 15 down, could reduce that. So now I'm going to swap to some lithium iron batteries. Pull out the 3300 with extra, with extra lead. Parallel up my lithium ions. Now these don't have to go all the way up in the nose, they have to come back a little bit. Telemetry recovered. So, same CG. So same CG, uh, but a little bit lighter weight, I think. So let's go with the lithium ions. Now they're paralleled, so the maximum current I can use is 20 amps safely, but I won't go anywhere near that. I'll be flying around on under 10. Differential ailerons uh, makes it turn very nicely just in bank and yank. It really carves around as if you're using rudder. Seven point seven amps. Six point one amps. So I can cruise around on six amps easily, which is four amps. oh four amps there. Five, six amps, no problems at all. Six point three amps. So I've got seven thousand worth of milliamp hours four S lithium ion, so uh, I'm gonna fly at say six amps for this amount of time. So I'm, I'm enjoying flying this sort of smooth and controlled low passes. It does that very easily. But uh, knowing you can punch out of any sort of wiggles or anything, I've reduced the ailon throws down to 80% and that feels much more reasonable. Not so twitchy. Nice, look at that. Nice and quiet with the twin tractors. I'd say it's a bit more agile than the uh, Alba Bird, less inherent stability maybe, but I'll, I'll fly the two side by side eventually, and the killer whale as well, although the killer whale is a, an odd one. Look at that, very nice. Alright, I had better put a camera on so we can get some nice aerial views. Chop the throttle there and glide in. Landed short, but that's okay. Lands very nicely. Doesn't dig the props in at all. Actually, what I'm going to try first is two big lipos together. See what handles the weight. But I think if you're going for, for big bat for long uh, flight times, you'd be using lithium ions anyway. Okay, two 3300s fit in reasonably well. CG 
a little bit more nose heavy I can push that back a bit yep we're good okay so this weighs I'll wait when I get home but I'll put the weight here for you here we go with two 3300 lipos in there Feels fine. Eight amps. Six point seven amps. Six amps. You'd want to fly it faster, of course. Amps. Uh, feels a little bit more. But what it feels like is. There's no damping on the ailer on, on the roll. Um, so you can fly around on seven amps with that amount of uh, lipo in there. Perfectly flyable though, feels okay. But as I said, you'd, if you're going for long range, you'd, uh, you'd be using lithium ions. Nice controlled landings, can land Nice and slow. Let's do a little bit of stall testing. How have I got my CG? Oops, CG's back a little bit. Is that a wise idea? No, I better put more weight in there, I think. So that's better CG. So let's go for a fly and we'll do a bit of stall testing. So that is flying very nicely, nice and stable. Let's fly around a little bit first. Get some footage before we potentially crash it, which I don't think we will. Look at that, nice. All right, we get up high, come back into the wind and do a little bit of stall testing. Here we go. Throttle back. Try again. Throttling back. There's the stall, nice and benign. No dramas, nice and uh, level stall. Let's try that again. No, it's not going to do anything too terrible. No, just picks up lift again, drops its nose and picks up lift again. Nice sort of a fat airfoil will do that, I guess. Well, that's pretty cool. So far, it's a very well behaved, uh, agile and sort of fast little fella. Very good. All right, so it's all very positive so far. Uh, I'm really liking flying it, very easy to fly. Uh, nice and uh, feels locked in, sort of uh, smooth. Um, fairly agile on the, on the roll, I guess. No sort of inherent stability. Uh, and that's sort of the, the flat wing and the um, low profile fuselage, I guess. For me, I think it's a big improvement over the plank. I'm just not a plank person. Um, the crosstail works beautifully. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how the V-tail works too. I might do that eventually, but that'll be a way down the track. Um, I need to get some FPV on this uh, and uh, take it out for a, a proper nice flight. Nice scenic flight, but, uh, but so far, thumbs up from me for the uh, second version of the Reptile Dragon. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.